Why would I move it? So things are still a bit weird, aren't they? Yeah. Two, it's also true though. People up and down the country are still being really nice and really helpful to each other. I'm Joe Wilkinson and this is another National Lottery's Good News Bulletin. Trouble at Mill. Not at the Grade 2 listed Heron Corn Mill in Cumbria where emergency funding has paid to keep Stuart, the youngest professional miller in the country, on board. So having this funding now, it's enabled us to look at our next six months in particular and how we're going to um, organise things, keep our groups engaged with what we're doing. Hi Audrey, I'm Ellie from the National Lottery. We have someone who wants to come on to say thank you. Let us introduce you to British chef and television food presenter, Matt Tabat. Audrey, hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm all right, thank you. Listen, Audrey, I just want to say a big thank you for everything you've been doing um, at, at the mill. And, uh, yeah, and on behalf of everyone in your, your area, then thanks very much. The Heron Corn Mill has been open since the 18th century, which is only slightly longer than how it feels since lockdown began. Let's head into Wales, where the Cardiff-based Alec Class Culture and Education Centre are dedicated to helping and supporting the local community. We focus on um, helping the youngsters in the community uh, shaping up their uh, path into life. Uh, we focus on trying to uh, give these youngsters a, a safe space for themselves. We also help, help them with the food bank by providing them with something to, um, you know, to sustain their life. And here we are in Scotland to take a look at the West Dumbartonshire group Golden Friendships. The way our charity started was um, I was doing a bit of karaoke and a bit of singing and, and I had so much fun and enjoyment doing it. I decided to open a club myself. I ended up, it was getting that busy and that popular. I chucked my job driving taxis to pursue this. Uh, we got some money off the lot of the COVID project. We have, we have prepared in the premises and delivered 26,400 packed lunches. That's all your news for this week. I'll bring you more good news from the National Lottery next time. You know where to find me.